I am at Mandalay Bay. You see this part right here, right in front of me? Right here? Mandalay Bay used to be the largest worldwide before, before that was even built. I'm talking about from here all the way down to here. That all used to be parking lot. Now it's a convention center. The hilarious part is this, is that most people don't realize that Vegas, Vegas isn't even a gaming capital anymore. It's a nightclub, restaurant, and a convention and expo capital. The one thing I love about it, <laughs> natives and tribal gaming have overtaken it. You ever go by these restaurants, you'll realize that they're expanding into expo convention area. Like there's another part of the strip that they blew up the Riviera and the Riviera has been here since 1950, but they're trying to expand all that area into expo. They're trying to get people here for, you know, corporate events and, you know, different things like that, hoping that they can get enough traffic. And a lot of people will not game because really who you go after when in gaming is blue collar workers, uh, um, a culture that's kind of like, you know, Asian market. Um, I forget um, these other guys that, that wear turbans. I forget right off, right off hand. Uh, anyway, a lot of cultures actually like they go towards that because, like, as a little kid, they play games and different things, mahjong, you know, different things though. But anyway, natives keep up the good work though. Keep growing. You know, customer service is good, food's good, uh, restaurant, you know, all that kind of good stuff, though. Make sure you understand some of this stuff. You know, for anybody that's out there that works like casino, I always try to say, uh, ask the people, ask your managers if you can go and go to Global Gaming Expo, NIGA, AIGA, OIGA, and stuff like that, man. You know? You guys have a good one.